All right, this is Squidoo training video part two, adding content to your column. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add different content to your Squidoo lenses. We have text modules, YouTube modules, Google blog sort searches, Twitters, Amazon, and our guest book, and a couple of other things. And we're going to go through all these. The first thing you want to start with is your introduction. This is where you're going to want to put most of your keywords, and then this can be uh, something fresh that you write, which would probably be a good idea, or you can actually just go to your website homepage and copy and paste things in. Google looks for fresh content on Squidoo, but it necessarily have to be uh, all new content all the time. You can add fresh content as you go, but when you start to create your lens at first, it's really meant to drive traffic to your blog, YouTube videos, and your homepage of your main website. So it's okay to go ahead and take pre-existing material and go ahead and post all that and create your lens from scratch. Then as you go, you can add content to your Squidoo lens and over time it'll build more and more better search positioning. So let's go ahead and open up our Squidoo lens. Always click the yellow button there. This is edit and as you can see, you have a place to write a title a lens description and add an image. So what we're going to go ahead and do is create our title. Now we've already made our main title for our lens, Leadership Skills for Business, and then each text module or each of the, any of the modules you're going to want to put a title with certain keywords in it. So I've added here Leadership Skills in the Workplace. You want to repeat specific keyword phrases that you can do keyword research from your Google keyword tools or freekeywords.wordtracker.com and find all the different keyword phrases relating to your business and title each module with specific keyword phrases that people search for and this is how you're going to get the most out of your Squidoo lens in terms of Google. Now to add the lens description that can be a paragraph from your home page from your website or a blog entry or anything else that's going to describe basically what your lens is about. Now we're here at our blog and this is a leadership skills blog. This has been going around for a while so it's got a lot of good f content on it but we can copy and paste literally this introduction here right into our Squidoo lens. So we're just going to do that. copy. Go ahead and paste this right into our Squidoo lens and then you can see that all the content for our intro is right here. The next thing we want to do is add an image from our hard drive to our Squidoo lens. Any picture you want. Pictures always help sell your ideas and your material. So we'll want to go to, here's a browse button, and we'll go to that. You can see our pictures here. And we can grab whatever photo we deem appropriate. We'll do this one. Click upload photo. Now we have an appropriate picture for our lens. You want to use a JPEG or a GIF. Those two will work best in Squidoo. Now that we have our title, we've copy and pasted our content and we've added a photo, we sim simply click save. Now you can see our content here in Squidoo and we'll look at the title of our lens and then here's leadership skills in the workplace article with a nice JPEG and you can do that with all the text modules. This here's another one. We can go ahead and add more content and more content. But let's go to add a YouTube video. You just click edit. Now the YouTube module has three different options. You're going to be able to let YouTube pick so you can put a search word in and, and uh, YouTube will find an appropriate video if it's not one of yours and you just want to add a video to it or the next one down is let me pick 
That way you can open up that window and it'll op the option is to add the URL to your video or any other video that you know of. S copy and pasting the URL from YouTube over into Squidoo and the video will play. Or you can pick a YouTube by a certain username. If you know someone's channel, a friend of yours or a colleague, you can go there and get instant access to all their videos to choose from. I like to pick my own, so I'm going to pick Let Me Pick. What opens up next is a choice to either show a full-size video playable in the lens. It won't go to YouTube. It'll play in the lens. That's always a good idea. You don't want anybody leaving your lens. Not this early in the game anyway. Or you can show thumbnails, which usually go out to YouTube, or actually they'll play in the lens. It depends on how you set it up. But I like to go ahead and see a full size so people can actually see it. And right here in this form is where you're going to enter your YouTube video URL. So what we want to do is go to our YouTube channel. Here is our YouTube channel. And you can see this is a video on our YouTube channel. Now the next thing you want to do is copy and paste the entire URL of where this video is sitting and playing straight into your Squiddy lens. So I go up here and copy and paste. And go ahead and paste this in. There's our YouTube video and all you simply have to do you want to change the title of your uh, YouTube module to a keyword. That can be any title you want but you want to make sure that you're picking keywords because that's important again each module title should have keywords. That's the first place the search engines are going to look when they're looking for your Squidoo lens for placement. We'll go down here and you hit save. And here is our YouTube video. Now here we have our YouTube video. Look how nice that title from YouTube. You have our title in the module and even all the description that we've written in YouTube all run out with all the information, leave comments, and look, it even plays right in your YouTube video or your Squidoo lens. It's great stuff, so let's move on to our next module. This is our Google blog search. It's blogs about information or news so we open up the Google blog search and we go down here and we can pick three to display headlines update each day and then of course you want to put in our search terms when we're done filling out this information you always just hit save and it'll load everything for you Now we have three different blogs with the word leadership skills in it. Each one of these is clickable out to the blog post itself. So that's quite interesting and keeps uh, all your viewers on top of all your information. Let's go to Amazon. The Amazon modules where you can pick any kind of products. You can specifically sell CDs, books, or any of the other things that Amazon sells. And you use a keyword to search for products if you want to sell someone else's products. Or you can actually add your own URL from Amazon if you have a book or a CD of your own that you're selling to advertise it right on here. If you use the search function, it'll show all sorts of different products. Anytime someone on your lens buys those products, you'll get a small commission off that. We've entered in leadership skills as our search terms. We're going to look for certain products on this. We'll go ahead and hit save. Remember, everything on Squidoo is automatic. You don't need to know any kind of code or anything else to make all these modules work. It's very user friendly. But look what we have here lots of books about leadership. And they can be yours or someone else's, but anyone who buys a book from your lens, you'll get the commission. Let's move on to our Twitter. 
this is your Twitter module. You name that something nice like follow me on Twitter so people know exactly what they're doing when they're on this module. And you can go ahead and put the Twitter username of any Twitter user, but you want to use your own basically. And then you're going to get five of the last tweets and a link to follow you on Twitter. Let's go ahead and do that. We've entered in our Twitter username right here. We're going to go ahead and click Save. Now you can see that we're following on Twitter. There's the last five tweets. There's the information about my Twitter account, how many followers, how many people I'm following. And there's the username. You click on that, it goes straight out to the account. And that's how you set up your Twitter. And then obviously here's your follow me on Twitter link. When someone clicks to that, they'll open up my account. You can, If you're logged into Twitter, you can go ahead and start to follow this account. That's a good way to get followers on such a popular thing as Squidoo Lens. This is the module for featuring another lens. You can feature someone else's lens on Squidoo, or you can feature one of your own. You can add up to five on this lens. I'm just going to do one to show you how. But all you have to do is just go over to Add a Lens, and you type in the URL to that lens, and it'll automatically show up. Let's see how this is done. Okay, we've added the URL to the lens I want to feature. It happens to be uh, my other client with the number one jewelry lens. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. You can see my featured lens to that number one lens of my other client. So this is a great way to get extra traffic to your other lenses. A lot of people will click out to other lenses from this featured lens module while reading this particular lens that you've created. It's a good way to drive traffic to all your other lenses. And let's look at some of the other modules. Here we have add an RSS feed to your blog. Let's open that up. If you have an RSS feed on your blog, then you can actually just go ahead and add the uh, URL to from your blog's RSS feed right here in this particular form. You can share how many headlines that you want to show from the feed and a number of different information, updating each, uh, how often you want to update, one day or once a week. But you can go ahead and just create that and add an RSS feed to your blog, to your lens. So people can now visit your instant information every time they're reading your lens. It's going to update daily. Let's show you how to add links to your other websites. This is very important to get backlinks from Squidoo. These are do follow links. So they're very important backlinks from a major site to help give your other websites good search positioning. Let's go ahead and open that up. All you simply have to do to add a link is add the URL address to your website you want people to see. Name it a title, and that's going to be a clickable link to the website, which is nice because you get to use, once again, your keywords. Make sure your keywords in here. And then a short description of people of the website so people know where they're going, and you just click Save. Now you can see the clickable link right here to this website. and. This will help give that website a good backlink and some extra traffic from a high ranking site like Squidoo. So you can get a lot more traffic to your website and you can add as many websites to this as you want. You can put dozens and dozens, everything you got. You want to put links to your videos, your blogs, and your homepage, and your article marketing, and just about anything else you want to link to. You want to put it on Squidoo and make sure everyone can get there. Let's look at the guest book lastly, because this is really important. This is for your guest book where people are going to leave comments and you want to encourage clickable links because you want to leave clickable links out to your lens and websites on all the other lenses on Squidoo and you want to actively go into the comments and leave lots of comments and a clickable link to your website so encourage that in others as well and they'll let you do it to their lens as well so you go in here and let's just pick anyone not just Squidoo members but anyone who visits let blurbs be approved right away. And you don't really need an email every time somebody sends you a comment because it's going to get bogged down. Pick
like how many uh, comments you want to display and then you want the thumbnails of each of the members to show because that's kind of interesting you want to do that and you don't do not want to strip out the HTML when what I mean by that is is someone should be able to leave a clickable link to their website if you pick strip out all the HTML out of the blurbs then no one will be able to leave a clickable link and that will get you a lot further in making friends and networking on Squidoo. So on the next video we're going to show you how to add the tags important keyword phrases that give Squidoo its high Google positioning.